Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be building Duke Nukem 3D from source code. I'm going to run a script here called Build Duke. It's a script I created. There'll be a link to it in the description, but here it is on the left while that's going. What it's going to do is first check to see if you have all the tools you need to build it, and it will install them if you don't. Again, this is not a Debian-based system. It's using apt. And then we're going to download the source code, unzip it, move into the directory we just unzipped, and make the game. It'll probably take a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, depending on your machine, to build it the first time. Once it's built, we're going to make a directory in our home directory for the config files and all the game assets. Next, we'll download the assets for the game and move them into that directory. Now, the game is free and open source as far as the source code goes, but the game assets are still under a copyright and not publicly available unless you purchase it, so make sure you've purchased it. I put a link to a, them up online to make it easy for you, uh, but I can't guarantee these links will always work. But it will download the game, unzip them, move them into that config directory. Then we will also download the Atomic Edition, which is an expansion pack, giving you more weapons, levels, and enemies. And uh, if you're going to work with mods, most mods seem to require the Atomic Edition. It just makes the game better. So we're going to download that, extract it into our config directory as well. Next, we're going to take the binaries that we compiled, eduke32 and mapster32, and put them into our USR local bin directory so that we can execute them from anywhere on our system. But to make sure that we're configuring them using the proper uh, config files and game assets, we want to tell it to use the directory we created. So here I'm creating a script called duke. And we're just telling it to use e32 or eduke32-j to use this directory. And then we're going to make that executable. So once that's done, we can just run the duke command and the game will run. Now, again, the first time you go to compile this, it will take longer than if you make modifications and go to recompile it. Uh, I would say maybe three to five minutes, depending on your system, for it to compile which is what it's doing right now. Again, once it's done doing that, it's going to download the assets, which I've already downloaded, so it's not going to re-download them. My script's smart enough to know that. It's extracting them, and then it will run the duke command, and we'll get our dialogue here. Now, I'm going to disable full screen mode right now because of recording. It will mess up my recording if I try to record it, and it flips to full screen mode. And I'll even keep the resolution down. This might cause it to be in a small box in my tiling window manager. But we'll, we'll click Start. And there we go, there's the game in a window here. And it's playing. We can go into options and change display settings as we want, video mode, change the uh, resolution, aspect ratio, and whether it's full screen or not. But that's it, that's all you need to do to get Duke Nukem compiled from source code, as long as you have uh, the game assets. And again, there's links to those in the script, but uh, technically you're supposed to own those yourself. And as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.